U.S. fixed mortgage rates have jumped to their highest level in the past two years, causing a drop in new home sales. It has added uncertainties about when the U.S. Federal Reserve will scale back its monetary stimulus. All that Fed taper talk is finally hitting home. New home sales, which reflect contracts signed after rates spiked, down dramatically in July. Recent data had shown the housing recovery humming along, but the consequences of those higher rates are starting to show. For example, even though final sale prices on houses are still rising, there are signs home sellers are nervous. Truly a chief economist, Jed Kolko. Right. Asking prices are a great leading indicator of where sales prices are going. Typically, asking price, prices are set in the market a couple months before sales end up closing. So we're seeing the impact of rising rates and rising inventory on asking prices now. They dropped in July. We haven't seen this impact yet on sales prices, but I expect that the big sales price indexes will show slowdowns or maybe even month-over-month -month declines in the coming months. Colco says Trulia's data shows consumers are nervous about mortgage rates, and the reality is they are spending less. Retailers' earnings have been dismal, and consumer confidence is down. And consumers that can't buy or sell houses are less able to move, for example, to take a new job. All reasons a hobbled home market is very scary. Michael Gapin, senior U.S. economist at Barclays. It would likely change the view of, of the Fed stance and what it thinks about tapering or the timing of it. We're not looking for housing to go into a correction of, of that magnitude, but obviously today's number raises that fear. And at the Jackson Hole Conference in Wyoming, Fed officials have been warned about the consequences of tightening too soon. The opening paper says that the Fed must maintain an ultra-easy policy to keep the recovery on track.